Yes, how are you, our dear candidates, wherever you are? Benjamin welcomes you to lesson 20. As usual, before that, let's have correction to, corrections to lesson number 19. You learned uh, the usage of the word a lot of, and you understood very well, I believe. And the instruction says, change the given sentences to negative and to interrogative form meaning the sentences were given in affirmative form. Look at number one. I have a lot of pencils in my geometry set. Yes. And you're told in affirmative form, it appears that way. In a negative form, the word a lot of changes to much in respect to, to many in respect to countable nouns. For example, pencils. We can count pencils. One, two, three, and so on. So our answer is expected to be I do not have many pencils in my geometry set. My marking guide tells you it's a negative, but you're not supposed to put the word negative in your answer. It should stop at the full stop. I hope you've got that. And one can also say the answer in interrogative form. That is to say, a sentence in a question form. It reads, do you have many pencils in your geometry set? That is one answer. Another person may also say, give the answer in a negative interrogative form. That is to say, uh, don't you have many pencils in your set? That's that. Look at number two. There were a lot of orphans at the orphanage. There were a lot of orphans at the orphanage. A lot of is used positively in a sentence. And if you are asked to change it to a negative, a lot of changes to many since orphans can be counted and so the answer is there weren't many orphans at the orphanage i hope you got that right remember that sentence is negative and we want also in uh, in a formative i mean interrogative form uh, in a question form and remember a questioning word is picked from the given helping verb in that sentence and for this case we have wa and so the answer is, were there many orphans at the orphanage? Forget not to put the punctuation mark. That has been that. Let's look at the next number. Katongole will sell a lot of hens during holidays. A lot of hens, a lot of will change to many. And so the answer will be, Katongole will, will not sell many hens during holidays. That is the answer. In an interrogative form, we can say, will Katongole sell many hens during holidays? Like that. Will Katongole sell many hens during holidays? One can also say, won't Katongole sell many hens during holidays? That is a sentence in an interrogative form. Number four has it as, we received a lot of money from donors. I mean, we received a lot of money from the donors. We received, that's affirmative. And so, we shall have the answer as, we received, we, we did not receive much money from the donors. That is the answer. We do not receive much money from the donors. We can also say, did we receive much money from the donors? Like that. And that is the answer. We can also put it in negative interrogative, which is also right. By the way, the next number says, there is a lot of sugar in the bowl. This end is familiar to each of us. And remember, we are asked to use much. Why? Much agrees or is used with uncountable noun. An example, money, sugar, water, and so on. So for this case, we shall have it as, there isn't much sugar in the bowl. Your task is simple. Changing from positive to negative, or giving construct that very sentence in a question form. And yet, the questioning word should be picked from the helping verb. One says, what if there is no helping verb. An example, we ate a lot of mangoes 
during holidays. We ate a lot of mangoes during holidays. You will develop, you will form your questioning word from the given verb. In line with the tense, we ate. And so you shall develop an emphatic form, do, and you agree with the tense. Take note of that as you keep learning. Then the next answer will be, is there much sugar in the bowl? That has been that. Friends, you're good enough to come into lesson 20. And guess what? We want to finish these issues of simple mistakes we always make here and there. We want to make the right words with the right tenses that agrees with the principle of English. One of them is the use of a great deal of. Yes, a great deal of. When do we use a great deal of? And what, do we, what message do we pass on to our consumers of English? What do we consider when we're using a great deal of without making mistakes? So the first principle says, the structure a great deal of is used in affirmative sentence. Affirmative sentence. In fact, to confirm that something is the way it is expected or is, for example, we are smart. You are learning. That is an affirmative sentence. But now, we want to use a great deal of in such a sentence. We are saying the structure is used in affirmative sentence, specifically when talking about uncountable nouns. We all learned about uncountable nouns. Can we cite some examples? We shall read there. We also want to consider the usage of a great deal of uh, English-wise. When we are changing sentences to negative and interrogative form, a great deal of changes to much. And remember, much is used with uncountable nouns. You can say, much sugar, sugar is uncountable. Much money, yes, much honey, much salt, yes. So such words are the ones we want to learn today. But we want to use, where we use much means we're using it in a negative form or in a question form. And when we want to convert that sentence to a positive sentence, we want to speak out our minds. Therefore, much will change to a great deal of. So, let's have examples of uncountable nouns, my friends. I've already mentioned a few. Can you give some four? Yes? After giving, you can compare yours with the few I'd given. I have sand, water, milk, sugar, among others. You can mention others and yeah, as learning goes on, those are examples of uncountable nouns. So we are right to say much sand, much water, much milk, much sugar, much honey, and so on and so on. Friends, let's have some sentences having the structure a great deal of. And I want to change this into much. An example has it as there is a great deal of maize flour in the granary. A granary where we store or keep our food stuff and other things in the village. I know you have the meaning right from primary one. You learned about the word granary. And we're saying there is a great deal of maize flour. I know it's, people have always, have always used us. There is much great maize flour. You must have heard people say that. Uh, that is what we could term as a grammatical error, grammatical error. Much is used in a negative sentence and in an interrogative sentence. If you want to use, bring our idea in that respect positively, much must change to a great deal of. That's why our sentence says, there is a great deal of maize flour in the granary. So can you change this to negative? Or, uh, yeah, negative. Our answer will be, there isn't much maize flour in the granary. There is no need bringing a great deal of in our sentence which is negative. That is it. So we can also ask the, 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 change the sentence interrogatively by saying is there much maize flour in the granary? 
that is a sentence in interrogative form or a sentence in a question form. We can also say, isn't there much maize flour in the granary? Any of those can be taken as our answer. Our emphasis learning how to use a great deal of and how do we change a great deal of to much? Under what context? Yes, a great deal of positively, then much negatively with uncountable nouns. Yes, that is what you're supposed to take as a learning point. Then the next number says, the engineers used a great deal of cement during the construction of Bujagali power station. This is an affirmative sentence. We are affirming that they used a great deal of. That is how to use the structure, a great deal of. Then how do we change this to a negative meaning? When we want to say this, pass this information in a negative meaning, we shall change the word a great deal of too much. And remember, the sentence must carry a negative symbol. That is the word not. So this answer will be, the engineers did not use much cement during the construction of Pujagali power station. Just as simple as that. And that will make us be grammatically correct. We can also say in an interrogative way as, did the engineers use much cement during the construction of Bujagale power station? That is our sentence in interrogative form. Don't forget that the questioning word is developed right from the tense of the sentence. Yeah, the tense of the sentence. If it is past, then it develops a past questioning word like I explained before. Then, we can also say, didn't the engineers use much cement during the construction of Bujagali power station? Another key thing is, you should not forget to punctuate the work. That is that. Friends, I believe that you have done enough about that. Uh, I want us to, to, to look at the next number. Jane, has bought a great deal of sugar. Jane has bought a great deal of sugar. Can we change this to our answer? Use much. Sugar is uncountable. Jane has bought a great deal of sugar. Yes, remember our answer should carry a negative. And therefore we shall say, Jane has not bought much sugar. As simple as that. Jane has not bought much sugar. Shall we change it to interrogative form? Just use the helping verb given and develop a question out of it. First of all, we have Jane has not bought much sugar. Then, interrogatively, we shall say, yes, I believe you have the answer as, has Jane bought much sugar? Mm, that is it. Just take a keen attention on how to develop the questioning word. Our questioning word here is has, which appeared in our sentence. Jane has bought a great deal of. So that very helping verb is what we use for our questioning word. And therefore we can also say, Hasn't Jane bought much sugar? That has been that. Friends, finally, we have this. They will mine a great deal of sand from the swamp. A great deal of sand. It is affirmative. They will mine. And so our answer will be, they will not mine much sand from that swamp. From that swamp. They will not mine much sand from that swamp. We are affirming. Then negatively, we shall say, I mean, interrogatively, we shall say, will they mine much sand from that swamp? Another person may say, won't they mine much sand from that swamp? And that's how to use much in respect to a great deal of. Remember, much is used for uncountable nouns. It's used with uncountable nouns. Then, many is used with countable nouns. 
That is the best we expect from you. You are free now to construct sentences in that order at home with friends, in the market, at the church, and it becomes daily part of you. I believe you have learned. Your simple task is to download the next work and you enjoy it. I wish you the best. Have the very best of your time. God is in control. Bye-bye.